dear friends today i'm going to start a new series in my channel and that new series is called classics in optimization essentially it is talking about books books which are very very famous in optimization both in theory and algorithms so this series is quite ambitious to share with younger students and new researchers as what uh, are in my eyes the best or the most classical and loved books in optimization i will go on doing one by one but i am just making a choice it is not a chronological choice okay it is come from one historical from one date to other it, i just pick up from my shelf and see for today to start with i picked up one of the greatest legendary books ever in optimization theory it's called nonlinear programming by olvi mangasarian so olvi mangasarian i just have a look at the book more carefully if you don't maybe i am yeah maybe that's the better one. so it's published by siam classics in applied mathematics in 1994 but originally the book was published by addison wesley in 1969 but if i'm i get a chance to teach nonlinear programming theory to engineers and economists this is the book which i will use because it doesn't just talk about either convexity as engineering books does or con concavity as economics books does we it talks about both convexity and concavity in the proofs mangasarian has been known for his proofs his proofs are simple even for very, very profound looking uh, ideas his proofs are simple and that simplicity of his presentation simplicity of his proof that makes for his work as well as this book uh, great he was one of the first um, optimizers possibly to work on machine learning to work on support vector machines and he worked in university of wisconsin at madison and was both in the computer science as well as the uh, mathematics department so taking this classics i my i the plan of uh, talking about classics is the following the plan is that i will take a book and essentially look at what are the key features of the book essentially look at the various contents what are there and what are the key ideas presented in the book see the book has 11 chapters and it has c a before appendices so the 11 chapters are first is nonlinear programming problem preliminary concepts and notations very basics like sets vectors matrices mapping function very basic then there's a very very important chapter and it's very different from what is there in other books it's called linear inequalities and theorems of the alternative so here you will be seeing two systems represented in terms of matrices because they are linear inequalities and equalities two systems if one of them has a solution the other will not and vice versa and these systems actually allow you to develop optimality conditions study duality and all those sort of things so develop sided point theorem so that is what we are uh, highlighting for this book that this book chapter 2 is so different from others that uh, it should be uh, separately read because it has been done in a very very different way it's not not the standard way that is what i told is very simple the proofs etc what has been given here in chapter 2 is much simpler than one can think about in other books next comes chapter 3 convex sets in rn their properties and separation theorem separation theorems are not the key things without which a lot of things coming after that doesn't work chapter 4 like usually if i write a book because of my own training or because of my own thing i'll say convex sets up and convex functions i'll just say okay a function is concave if minus of that is minus of the function is convex i'll not say much about it but here the properties are given for convex the properties are given for concave functions and that's very important for concave functions the economists would be helped for convex function engineers mathematicians and other the operations researchers would be helped here they don't talk about non differentiability in the sense that defining subgradients of convex functions etc because they are talking about general functions though when they talk about subgradients uh, they they talk about non differentiability it is a uh, you know 
saddle point results for convex functions which would be important but they don't assume the existence of subgradients and all these things they essentially in this book the author means olvi mangasari and talks about saddle point theorems that is chapter 5 chapter 6 talks about differentiable convex and concave functions their properties uh, twice differentiable convex and concave function uh, strictly concave and convex function then comes chapter 7 optimality criteria in nonlinear programming and differentiability so this is talks about the fridjohn conditions and the kuntakar conditions both sufficient and necessary optimality criteria then comes duality which is a very key idea which is very important in linear programming but also very very important in nonlinear programming the duality idea is very well dealt in this uh, famous book nonlinear programming right I hope you can't. See, I don't know whether you can see. This book actually uh, was gifted to be my professor Bechter, who was in the management department of management school of the University of Winnipeg at Manitoba, in Canada. So, uh, you know, University of Manitoba at Winnipeg. Sorry. So generalized. Next comes generalized convex function, quasi-convex, strictly quasi-convex, and pseudo-convex function, and also the. their concave parts contour parts so these quasi concave functions are and strictly quasi concave functions are very important in economics when you study utility theory choice theory but economic theory they will be there you take a very recent book for example uh, the book of uh, david m krebs on microeconomic theory foundation it's quasi convexity it's quasi concavity is the ruling there so that way this chapter it becomes very important because in those days also at the same time the economic theory was growing at a rapid pace mathematization of economics was happening at a rapid pace then chapter 10 is optimality in duality for generalized convex and concave function for these quasi convex pseudo convex functions they talk about optimality and duality etc so the dual that would be expressed is not the usual lagrangian dual that you know for the standard nonlinear programs but a kind of thing called ulsch dual and more other things so optimality in duality in presence of non linear equality constraint so we have so equality constraints is what links the whole thing to the lagrange multiplier rules that you have studied in calculus so what happens if i make combine both equality and inequality constraints so one of the first proofs of this type of results a proof of the existence of lagrange multiplier for such a mathematical programming problem was first given in 1967 paper by mangasarian and fromovich The same old view Munger Sarian, and they they had induced they they introduced a constant qualification known as the Munger Sarian Fromovich constant qualification, which they speak about here. So there's a lot of constant qualification in nonlinear programming, Kontaka uh, constant qualification, Aro Hurwitz constant qualification. A lot of things are Slater constant qualification, very very well discussed in this book. If I ever get a chance to do a teaching of nonlinear programming theory, both engineers and economists, this is the book I'll choose any day. so uh maybe i wonder i'll give uh, some little parts a discussion of little parts of this book but uh, that would depend on my time and uh, my more better setup for <laughs> running youtube shows so here are the 11 chapters there are, there are appendices consisting of topological facts vector and matrices continuity notions upper semi continuity lower semi continuity apart from continuity and differentiable functions and mean value theorem mean implicit function theorem implicit function theorem is needed when you are uh, having equality constraints also so this book is something which if you are really going to specialize in optimization theory this book is a must for you to have a look into you might say oh this is old 1969 the thoughts must have changed a lot of research has been done yeah, of course a huge number of research has come in the last decade in con constant qualification huge and an optimality condition huge i would say but the charm of this book the usefulness of this book not only from his part historical perspective but for a modern understanding of the subject remains unchanged and as a result of which this remains to be a classic in not only optimization but in applied mathematics because that is what you will see that siam published republished this book in the series called classics in applied mathematics so i hope you enjoyed this little discussion and hope uh, you would have a look at this book if you ask me it's a must thank you